plot of the unknown, the counterfeit man. Theme music plays. The lab crew, crew lab reports. Sir, thanks, Jensen. Put them on the table, will you? Happy to blast off, Glemeline? Yes, Doctor, very happy. I think the, it's the most miserable and boring mission we've ever done. And that includes the trip to Beta. Oh, sir, there's a... What is it, Jensen? A report on one of the men. I think you ought to check it out right, it right away. Who is it? Whiskers, sir. What's wrong with him? It's incredible, Doctor. Learn anything like it before. It's, in, it's impossible. It's not possible. Have you checked the regent? Reagents? Yes, sir. I've st- ran standards. All on the reagents before we started the test. I want Reskov in the lab right away, Jensen. Track him down, will you? I don't want to put it over the speaker. I understand, sir. And Jensen, not a word about this to anyone. Huh? No, of course, sir. I'll get on with to Jen- Westcott right away. No, Doctor, I feel very good. Who wouldn't want to get off this heap of a rock? All right, I'm just like everyone else. I'm hoping to, for a sweet, fast run home. Why, there's nothing wrong with me, is there? Honestly, don't think I've ever felt better in my life. I just want to recheck your medical, Westcott, that's all. First, when Jensen got hold of me, I was suddenly thinking about the expedition. One where the virus got into the crew's lungs and ate them all away. Pluto? Pluto, that's right. I was down for that trip. I remember it very well. Oh, were you? Now take your vest off. Would you please, please West Cross? One tone. It's not fair, is it? It's not far, is it? We've been reached, perhaps. We've been on it since we were born and not known. Perhaps it's everywhere. Of water and on land. How's it going, Donny? Your computer's holding up right in there. We're dead, of course. Right, thank God for that. I never wanted to get back from anywhere like this. I like I do this time. From anywhere like I do this time. How about you, Green? Green? I want to see things growing again. I want to see the sight. I want the sight of a woman. There's nothing more reassuring than the body of a woman. I believe a leaf of grass is less, the less a gentleman work of the stars. And a prismier is perfectly, equally perfect. A grain of sand, an egg, a wren, slowly. A tree toad, I can't remember any, any more. Donnie, you're sweating. Are you right? I'm cold. Cold? I wish I could go home. Don't worry now, I wish I were home. Now, now, Donny. What is it? What's the matter? Am I sick, Scotty? Sick? Everything's running out of me. I'll get Crawford. No, no, don't leave me. I don't, I don't want to leave you, boy. I believe a leaf for grass. Donny, you're all, you're ill. For God's sake, let me. And the premier's me was equally shouting. Donny, green, green. I want to go see green. But there isn't any green. A more screams navigation to central. Navigation to central. So get Crawford up here. A man just died. Man of a PA. Will Dr. Crawford go to navigation control at once? This is emergency. Repeat. Will Dr. Crawford go to navigation control at once? Emergency. Repeat. Emergency. What did he die of? Crawford? We're in trouble, Jeffy. I don't, I don't begin to know how to explain it. You have to try, won't you? It's all so commonplace, uh, this mission. So completely without accident, incident. Yes. For all we learned on Jaginamir, we might as well have stayed home. We know all about that, yes. Let's get back to Shaver and this trouble we're in. Donny Shaver's blood sugar zero. What does that mean? It's not possible for a living person to have a blood sugar of zero. It would be an insulin shot long since and dead before it even hit rock, bit bottom. But it's not some... But not, but sometimes, but always. Miss Shaver should have been died, died days ago. If he's a human being, yes. Oh, come on now. Couldn't there be some completely alien disease? Possible, all right then. It's a freak condition. No, it isn't. It's a, it's a lab report. Never, never get him. Bob, Roger Westcott. Blood sugar zero. Westcott was still alive. Can't be alive. Be a human being at the same time. You mean it's the same condition as Donny Shaver? A dead Donny Shaver? 
I was giving him Westcott some more tests. We see if he died in the navigation shack. Jensen's checking them now. Then what are, what are we waiting for? Have you finished, Jensen? Just made the last entry, Doctor. What is the on the port? Let's have it. It's a strongly, Doctor. Never mind the drama. What about the facts? Well, Crawford, for God's sake, out with it. Blood sugar normal. If the curve is a condition, it's normal in every way. Then there had to become, be some mistakes in the first test. There was no mistake, Captain. I checked step by step. Both tests were tested. Checked for the number and fingerprints. Blood tests were checked for my number and fingerprints. Blood came from the same man's veins. I now feel, now you feel, but it had been a mistake. It is possible. All human, the same man can have two opposing tests on the same day. Doesn't make sense, I checked, Captain. Doctor, there's no mistake, unless, and that's what? Let's go back to my cabin. Time to eat, Scotty. Can't you get the sight of, can't you? Can't get the sight of Donny out of my head. I know how you feel, but it's no good, is it? Donny's dead. That's all there is to it. How do you do you think I feel? I work the closest to him on the ship. I suppose you're right. I better put myself together. Are we on course? I don't know that Roger Westcott is now. But he's not the human being. You better spell it out. All right. To suppose Gomea wasn't quite as deserted as we thought it were. Well, that's crazy. As you said, we're all human. We make, we all, we can all make mistakes, yes, but this, suppose there was, was life, their intelligent life. Suppose we didn't remain unnoticed, but were carefully observed. Observed by life forms that didn't want to make their presence known. Life forms? What life forms? Places dead as stink volcano. Good I mean we saw and might have been carefully prepared for us so we can see nothing, detect nothing, learn nothing. So we come home empty handed, all right? Well, suppose all that. Well, now what if these life forms had no particular arrangement and anatomy like we do? Maybe they like some sort of jelly like potassium, 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 capable of changing it to fit weather conditions it might meet. Perhaps copy something they wanted to copy. Roger Westcott? Exactly. Maybe one of them killed Roger Westcott out there among the rocks and came aboard his ship copying exactly his reactions, his appearance, hoping to learn more about us. How, but how does this, I'm coming to that. I suppose this creature slipped up on the copying job. Maybe he could, didn't know, couldn't know first just how the bird chemistry a human being was supposed to balance. So maybe he needed time to change the change copy. They can come aboard a ship with a nice convincing order to share. All shell, all completed, but we're in the side, all mixed up and uncertain. Now this is fantastic. So we drew his blood, it was wrong. Completely impossible as blood goes. He realized his mistake, he tried to cover it up by Kenny Shaver and giving him false blood too. Just confuse the picture, making us think that perhaps there's some sort of mysterious disease on board. Now we should spend the rest of the passage trying to figure it out. All right, if that, that is the moment, if it's, uh, if, well, all right, and if, and it's run, run, run to run to all, if things are, as you say, in a Westcroft, is a Westcroft. And how in the devil can you prove it? That is a good question. The creatures copying Westcott could react exactly as he would. Right down to the last cell, a creature could be Westcott, except for a fragment of alien mind, persisting, thinking, holding fast to an alien identity. Do you can go for go four credits for you two you four and two, that's six to me and four and four. That's too rich me and me. At least you and I, Gary. Got the feeling that you've got one of those lucky streaks. Roger, my boy, that wish two more. What is it going to cost you, me? Ten? Good thing I'm stacked. Are you bluffing, Roger? Are you going to pay 
pay to find out, Jeffy. A creature like that would have to be evil, wouldn't it? it do something like this, treacherous and sly. Yes, it would. It would carry it back, it back home, yes. And you believe that your theories that creatures are true, yes. Well, I don't know I respect you. I respect your opinion, but you don't go along with them. It was impossible. It was, has, has to be, even if you were right. What can we do about it? I don't know. I, I just don't know. It must be a b- way to break Roger Westcott, Roger Westcott, or whatever he is. I heard of almost perfect counterfeits before. I never heard of a counterfeit. It couldn't be broken. Can you, do you have permission to go ahead with my investigation to Roger Westcott? Of course you do. Then, can I get started by looking to the confident, into confidential file? I'll get it for you right away, man of recorder. Nevertheless, it's in, in hypothesis. Heaven has all subjects reported for their dreams and described them in considerable length and detail. And yet, when the subjects are awakened, all insisted no dreams have occurred. It's been oriental sessions covering a vast number of subjects have always revealed that human ne- beings dream every night of the, their lives, or that, that human beings are dreamt every night of their lives. Just a minute, it can be noted that there is a distinct ratio between the strain, the original, and the heightened frequency of dreams and nightmares. I think I found a way to break or counterfeit, as you were convinced as ever about your theory. Yes, I am. On my routine rounds this afternoon, I make a point of talking to Westcoff in the vacation hatch, and, and now I must say so he seems completely normal to me. Still, I suppose as captain of the ship, I can't afford to take any chances. I must go along with you. Where's your plan? The collection Donny Davis window in all, all in? Yes, in the safe for 2,000 credits. The boys have given, been generous, aren't they? Well, aren't they? Donny is very popular. I want to use the credits to track Westcott. Track him? Yes. How? I want to give him right mares. Man over PD. 72... To Westcott, we talked to Dr. Crawford's uh, cabinet once. I repeat, we'll swear them to Westcott, report immediately to Dr. Crawford's uh, cabin. And a message, Dr. Crawford, anything I can do for you, Roger? Okay, um, am I okay, Jensen? What do you mean? My last tests were very, they were clear. You're 100%. Is that, is that, if that's worrying you, then there's no virus running around the ship, correct? What did Tony die of? Whatever it was, it's nothing to worry about. But like, I'd like to know. You'd better ask Crawford, haven't you? I don't know why you've got the funny feeling. Something's going wrong. He's tripped and he's dead. That's what went wrong. It's all over and done with. You think so? I don't. What I have to say, Scotty, is that I'm not going to make very pleasant listening. How many missions have you done under my command? Five, uh, sir? Six, including you this. You've got one of the best service records of any man on the ship. What is it, what is it all about, Captain? Don't you stay there? Has a close friend of yours, wasn't he? Scully? Yes, he was my best friend. You now no doubt you contributed to a collection that was arranged for his widow. Yes, of course I contributed. Money had been stolen, Scotty. And no, this is not possible. No, he would do this on this ship. But he, it's not possible. An hour ago, the money was on Dr. Crafer's off desk. He took called from his quarters. He returned, the money was gone. It's poss- not possible the money was under my desk, ready for dispatches. Of course it's possible the man who took the money did not realise exactly what he was stealing. Why are you telling me this, Captain? Two men were seen in the vicinity of a captain an hour ago. Came an hour ago. You, Roger Westcott. Westcott? Did I being the doctor's quarters at that time? Well, I didn't deny anything. I was on duty. I left to, to report on your desk. But when Westcott didn't take that money any more, would I? Would I? Would uh, Then I would. Well, that leaves me. Then, doesn't it, Scotty? Of course, that's ridiculous, sir. You know it. You, you, it makes me a bit sick. That's all it makes me, a bit sick. No, it's all right. Keep a grip on yourself. Would you object if we search you, Kit? You would search my kit and shoot me if you like. I didn't think neither of these measures would be possible. I don't believe you took the money. Did you, Scotty? I didn't. Go and take over for me, Westcott. Send him in here right away. 
But Roger Wiscott, sir, so you didn't run away. I don't tell him anything about what had happened in here. Is that understood, Scotty? Do you understand, Scotty? Yes, sir, I understand. Well, let's see, Sloan. Roger Wiscott, sir. You sent for me? I sent for you, Wiscott. Don't stand there. So come in, the captain and I want to talk to you. Yes, sir, close folk. What's your job on this ship? Do you know what my job is, sir? Answer, Dr. Crawford Westcott, a navigation to sell. I worked Scotty McLean. You worked with Donnie Strever, didn't you? Yes, yes I did. Donnie, a very good friend of mine. Social operations expert. It says here, speciality schools report. Man with high value is blasting, launching procedures. Stood high in his class in navigation. You got started young, didn't you, Westcott? I said as soon as they, you have me, sir. I've always wanted you look forward enough. You look straightforward enough, Westcott. Honest enough. It's disappointing to see how deceptive parents can be. What's wrong, Doctor? What's wrong? You haven't stood there, Westcott. And tell me you don't know, no, sir. Honestly, sir. I have no idea. No idea, Westcott? You're a fool. You should better, know better than try stealing a ship like this. Stealing? Sir? Don't understand. You understand, all right. The crew running, the crew took up for Donnie's service window. I was 4,000 credits. Yes, sir. That money had been on my desk. I left my cabin an hour ago. I entered my cabin five minutes later and you left almost immediately. I think you'd better return it. Sir, I honestly don't know what you're talking about. I was sent to your cabin. It wasn't there. I came out again. I don't see my any money. Sent, sent for? I didn't send for you, Westcott. I honestly don't know what you're talking about. I don't take any, I didn't take any money. Captain, you better You've been my skipper ever since I've been in the services. You know, I don't have to take, take any money. It's money. I wouldn't take that money. My life depended on it. You know that, Captain. You hear Dr. Westcott, Crawford Westcott. I think you better, I think you do, to do better to admit and take a clean breast, make a clean breast of it. No, Captain, Doctor, please, you don't believe me, do you? There's nothing I can say that will convince you. You made up your mind and I'm lying. That's, I'm stuck then, is it, aren't I? If I don't take the money, how dare can I get back, give it back? All right, Westcott, that's enough. Let's keep that back, back to you. Let's get back to your boats. I'll tell you now, we'll go for this ship of time to come. Our money is here on board. We know who took it. Look, sir, get back to your post. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. You said that before. It's disgusting. It's very tough. Don't you just have to... You have to just go along with me. Don't go along with this. So lie. I don't realise implications until I got sort of boy. This is downright vicious. That's the right word. Vicious. We're dealing with someone think vicious. Can't you be- get the, that into your head? Do you have to see someone... See, you need something to be afraid of it. Afraid of active burn any vicious, vicious, because you can see it. What happens? A plague. Poor polio, could he really? I thought about this thing. I'm sick of thinking. Tell you, I'm afraid. So afraid, I can't sleep. The thing is here. It's loose on our ship. We can't even prove it to test, detect it at its distance. If it's good or friendly or peaceable, we would have made it self known from the start. That, 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 that didn't, that doesn't, they didn't do that. Didn't you see what that, that implies? It murdered, twice it murdered. Murdered Roger, Roger, Roger was caught back among the rocks somewhere and murdered Donnie. A two or a crew, two men, never see him again. And what kind of fit we were? Just, and that kind of fit? Just talking about, talking to kill them. He looked normal, so normal. He, was, he looked super, he reacted super, exactly. Think that we can, think what he can do to his ship. We don't stop. I have no idea what powers this thing would have. At least we closed in here. It's isolated. Well, though, when we get home, when we, can it be loose the streets? Can't you see? We can't take it home with us. We can't make take it home, alright? We ought, we ought to warn the crew. Let them on the go, let them be on guard. Lose our chance to have, uh, we have a trapping it. It'll be fatal. I think you found a way of bring, the way to call this thing. You have to let me try, my PA. Will our crewmen not engage in key duties? Send them immediately. The mess hall. Where they will be addressed 
to just be dressed by the captain and the message. Well, what was all that about, Scotty? You don't know. But I'll take a good, da- take a good damn bet. I've got something to do with Donny collection. Donny collection? I suppose I shouldn't have opened my mouth. It's all come out now anyway. What do you, what, oh, well, well, oh, what we'll come out, out then, now, out, out now? I knew about somebody taking Donny's collection money. Do you know what, Jensen? I was under suspicion. I was under suspicion? They thought they took the money for his widow. I know, I know who did it, Jensen. I know who did it, who did. What do you reckon going to go, going on, Roger? No idea. The cab has got getting to us, to, not getting us together to tell us what good boys we are or something, something certain. Something's piled up. That's for certain. Something's gone wrong. It can't be the ship. It says certainly it's his. There may be something come through from home. Trouble? Why are you so, all so cheerful? But it's in the pep, grand pep talk. Mocking, done, was for well so far. But then in a terror for, terror for days now. Don't you want any suckling, I don't want any suckling of effort. No race. You know how it goes. Give you two to get it, and give it to one, it's trouble. Take it. Five credits to ten. You got a bet. All right, man. Settle, man, settle down now. Captain Jeffy's got something to say to you. Thank you, Doctor. I want to say first, man, you're pressed a bit by the way you conduct yourself, both on board and on genamine. Particularly on genamine. Not yet, the strings to come. The strings, not yet, the strings to come, Jeffy. Genamine is certainly the most unrewarding planet we've ever been stuck on. But you carried out your jobs in Beverly. You worked on the team, helped each other, and kept the devil work high. Then I stood in front of you. That's why I stand in front of you, baffled and disappointed. I would have said that a crew we trusted 100%. But I've got to tell you now what we got a thief on the board. One knew who he had stolen 2,000 credits collection for David Donald Swaver's widow. Grassy murmurs his disgust. Not possible, I don't see, I, I can't see you angry, or as angry as I am. It's possible the man who took it did so by impulse without realising what it was. Do you decide to give him a chance? If he, if the guilty man returned the credits, Percy Dr. Crawford, who, cust- who cust- had custody money, no debt shall be taken. The man will be allowed to transfer and his passage, and that will be that. I don't like to be the, in that character's shoes if Scotty gets hold of him. One well, final mark if the money is returned by the time we come into loading, landing of it. But not man will leave his ship until that it is. That's what, that's what, oh, you're dismissed. No doubt about it, the rotten, that's a rotten trick, the rottenest trick you've ever heard of. The character will never show up, that's certain. He should, must have known. What he, what he was taking, man. Yes. But who could it be? Mooted speech. Why have you stopped playing Red 10 on Jack? You're not concentrating, Westcott. You're too bad about Donny, isn't it? I said. You're too bad about Donny. Too bad someone took that money. Because I reckon, Westcott, that it was Donny. Where well, was Donny gone? She'd need all the money she could get. Wouldn't you, Westcott? Wouldn't you, Westcott? What do you think of a man who steal from another man's widow? Westcott, you see, we've got no opinion from that at all. I ask you again, Westcott. How can low can a man get, Westcott? I'm talking to you. What did you do with the money? I didn't take that damn money. Have you got, have you got that all, all have you got that all of you? I didn't take any money. Have you got you're not only a miserable thief, Scott. You're yellow, grunting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't dirty my hands. Let your waning sirens ringing. Let your waning siren ringing. Siren continues. Electronic wailing. Siren ringing. Siren continues. Electronic wailing. Siren ringing. Electronic wailing. Siren ringing. Electronic wailing. I hope you're satisfied. You've got the whole ship upside down. You've been plaguing Westcott until he's almost a nervous wreck. In fact, everyone's getting edgy. Are you edgy? Yes, edgy. I don't mind admitting it. The whole thing's getting on my nerves. 
I could see if you could see the point, it'd be different. But this is going too far. I've had nightmares ever since it started. Every time I see Westcott, it gives me a look that makes me feel like Judas. Don't touch that. What, what's the matter, Sorry, I must be pretty jumpy myself. The business has made me scared of everyone on board, including myself. Are you sure you haven't t- talked to yourself into this nightmare? We've well, got, he's got, he's got to be dead. Anyway, last night I carried out an experiment. If, if the pattern repeats itself tonight, I'd be 100% absolutely sure. What is this experiment? I'm sorry. You're sorry? But what? Are you going to tell me what you're looking for? I am sorry, but I think, you think what? What do you think? That I'm not to be trusted? I am the monster? Maybe I'm the one? Or are you aliens? Is that what you think? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I told you I was scared of everybody on board, including myself. Oh, for God's sake, this is ridiculous. I demand to know what you're up to. Is that an order? Yes, that's an order. I'm sorry, but I can't tell you. Do you realize this amounts to no infestation? If this is what you want to, if that's what you want to think as a captain of the ship, exactly what, what I do think. I'm telling you now to make a full, I'm going to make a full report to this company, to the commandant. The moment we land on terror, I want to talk to you, Dr. Crawford. Can we return, are you going to return me, to return the money, Westcott? You know I haven't. Then there's nothing to be said, more to say. Yes, there is. Make it brief, Westcott. Come on, Westcott, say what you have to say and get it over with. I don't, I don't go all day, Doctor. I don't know what you've got, got against me, but I didn't take that money. You know I don't, didn't. I want you to call it off. Call off what? Call it off, what, call it off what? Oh, oh, call what off? It's that creation that I'm a thief. You know this isn't true. You're the one that started it. You're the only one that's going to stop it. I had enough. You had enough, I Scott. Why didn't you turn the money? You're going to break me in some way. You're doing a good job of it. You haven't got had a civil word with anybody on the ship since you've started this business. You've come to the wrong man for civil words, Westcott. Try somewhere else. You ha- have had, had it all. I have had all I can take, Doctor. If you can't, if you don't call it off, I think I'll go out of my mind. Out of your mind, Westcott. It's an interesting thought. Why didn't you go do it? Go ahead. Go out of your mind. I'm not going to do a thing to help you. Go ahead, out of your mind. Hey, man over at PA. All hands stand by. Prepare for deceleration in three hours. Prepare for deceleration in three hours. Prepare for deceleration in three hours. We'll be landing all of it in three more hours. We'll cut it fine. But there, that's, that's all there is there. In there. Well, Scott, yes. I caught it, got him cold, I'm sorry. Hold out on you for so long, but I had to be sure. And there you are? Yes, and no doubt of it. No doubt at all. I had just sent him down to check the starboard pressure block. And so, so this is it. You had to, that, but, yes, but explain later. We haven't got much time. What are you going to do? See here? Look at the starboard pressure lock. Looks at very only boy, doesn't he? Very only. Very human. Now what's this? Throw the switch. Throw the switch. I haven't got a suit on. High pressure switch squealing. Squeak. Squealing, screeching, a genetic wave, waving. Fight on, fight on, you kill me. So I'm bowing. What are you doing, Crawford? You kill him. There's no way, watch him. No, I fit, pitch, reaching. I string, and ringing, screeching, so in quadrinos. He's already beginning to change. Looking a little, def- not, it's losing all definition, it's melting. Screeching and ringing continues. It's changing to something that's not human. Not, it's not even remotely human. That sound blares. Screeching continues. Oh my God, you see, I wasn't wrong. No, no, you wasn't wrong. I never heard of a kind of fit. It couldn't be broken. If you go about the right way. And usually there's a flaw in one design. A couple of is not perfect. But this was a different altogether. You had a kind of fit man. Yes. And such a perfect copy to make a coat study t- tissues. With real no flaw. We could presume that this alien, this creature, Kobe Westcoff, used it, made a mistake in his blood count, destroyed Kiva. So, give me him false blood too, just the first of a cent. That man corrected his, the fault, the fault himself. 
You must have copied Westcott's neutral circuit too. Neutral circuit too. Neutral circuit too. We should have been scared. He was scared. We should have been angry. He was angry. Oh, this co- all this to copy from Westcott's mind. Why was? Why did he realize it was important? A sudden self-conscious activities like dreams. Exactly. Is that simple? You didn't know that, that all humans dream. Now you realize. Where we land, we shouldn't take any risks. I mean, we should be, it would be foolish to assume that only one crew, one alien came on board. Oh my god, don't tell me. You think some other crew member might be affected? We can, can't discount count the possibility, can we? So he's no. No, I imagine we can't. We're the landing orbit. Less an hour now. What do you suggest we do? Get through the, the space fault. We can borrow a commander. Give us a meet ship with on guard. All officers men to be taken to space. Hospital to be isolated. Until we check the entire crew. A way there's no possibility to slip. And get in the commandant's group right away. And but, but obviously, we can't let the crew know what's going on, obviously. Yes, Ellis? What is it? The orders have been carried out, Commodore. Immediately, the ship's landed. The men will have all sent, we sent under escort to the isolation hospital. We are sure as everyone. Yes, everybody, sir. I checked the list personally. Against thing, thing, thesis, fingerprints. You plastic guards outside the, the ship, Alice? Yes, sir. And I've given orders that no one has been allowed on board. Except Dr. Crawford. Yes, sir, I have. Good. Well, Crawford, it's up to you now. I suggest you go home now and start your examination tomorrow. Yes, sir. So that, I'll do that as soon as I pack my records and notes. Oh, Crawford, I think you've shown great initiative and courage. You won't go unnoticed, thanks, sir. Yeah. Sorry, sir. No one's allowed on board. Order the commandant. Come on, sir. Doors closing, doors loud banging. Captain Bob? Bob? Sorry, I'm ringing it faintly. Didn't work. You can't get away. Do you hear me? You can't get away. I told him everything. They know there's another one in a New York crew. The guard, the ship's guarded. It's all tight. You're trapped. Sirens stops faint knocking. Gunshots shattering. Guards shattering underneath. Sirens fainting. You never get the, get off the ship. You'll take it aloft. You'll burn it. They'll burn it with it. Screams loudly. Screams. Dr. Crawford whimpers and grass. Screams, whimpers and grass. Gunshot. System booting up. Good night, Mr. Dr. Crawford. Door roaring, thunderous explosion.